got a passion for animals. Hey guys, how's it going? Look at this, fucking hell. It's in that face for a while. And this online crusade. Big shout out to the observer in the chat. Give me a second. The proof. Truth bomb. Make them all go proof. I hope you're all following the observer on YouTube. I'm going to pop the link in the chat there, guys. If I've got any mods in, could you pin that for me? Make sure to follow the Observer on YouTube for all your screen recordings. Right. Welcome. How's everyone doing? A lot of new chat is in. Nice to see. Just want to go through my subs briefly. Uh, we had Jess, I think, at the start. Thank you, Jess, so much for that sub. That's 10 months. Thank you so much. And... Uh, Joe as well, thank you so much, that's four months, thank you, appreciate it. Right, some housekeeping, some basic housekeeping. Obviously there's a trigger warning above me, if you can't see that, well you're an absolute twat. Um, all my content usually has some sort of triggering aspects. Obviously I'm doing blind reactions, so I don't really know what people are going to say before they say it. So I can't prevent certain things, so bear that in mind. Um, another bit of housekeeping, obviously welcome to Twitch. If you're new, please make sure you hit the follow button, that little heart. Now, Twitch does play adverts that I can't control unless you are subscribed. However, you can subscribe for free if you have Amazon Prime. A lot of you guys use that. Somebody will post a link in the chat for me soon. Um, if you go onto that link, it'll tell you to sign in to Amazon through Amazon Gaming. Then you can come back on here. And then you can subscribe and you get rid of those adverts. You can, If the adverts don't clear, then you just basically need to close the app and come back in. But some of our regulars will definitely help you through it in the chat. Uh, Geeky, thank you so much for gifting out a sub there. Uh, gifted out to RMKD. Thank you so much, man. It's a lovely move for the channel. And SS subscribed for as well. Thank you so much. We we'll have, I think, hit that hype train as well, which is awesome. So we'll be unlocking some emotes. If you are subbed on the channel, you also get all those sort of emotes. If the regular subs want to show off the emotes in the chat. Now, obviously, I want to react to this because I haven't really seen this, which is obviously Prince Brat and Red together. And then there was a live that Luke the Judge came into. There was a live that Luke the Judge came into. And I want to react to part of that as well. Now, I understand that Angie has said that a lot of this is bullshit um, and that she was made to lie or something. I don't know. She might change her story the next day. Who fucking knows? So, let's summarise. So, Luke the Judge, Chester, it's all fucking kicking off. And Prince Brat. Prince Brat claimed that Luke the Judge shared Chester's intimate information about an essay and stuff like that with him obviously without chester's consent it's all fucking gone off and from what i understand obviously prince brat has got into her into her life so we're just going to jump straight into it we're just going to jump straight motherfucking into it we do stream on twitch every monday wednesday and thursday starting at seven o'clock so make sure you're here guys our family is growing over here, and I love it. Right. Let's, I haven't listened to Red for ages. Let's go. I, I, I don't head. know why you're choosing anger at me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All I said was that uh, you personally knew, because you had a phone call with me. I'm sorry. I know that I, like, that's a really quick pause, but it's, it's her when she's like... You can almost see, like, the anger under the surface. Where you played the mediator because you were shocked yourself about Luke's behaviour towards me. But if you've looked at all my streams, I've actually said that you've always been as kind to me and you haven't done anything. Thank you, S, for gifting out a sub. Thank you. EMC's got that sub. Thank you. No, she's not happy at all. I think she's trying to do, like, positive body language with all that, but you can just see it. I don't know why you're choosing this anger now, but... To me, that's you're just come in the chat, Prince, while I'm trying to speak about a situation and, you you know, you're putting stuff out there. So when I was on this group call, right, first of all, I wasn't... A group call? Interesting. You know, angry or shocked at Luke. I just didn't understand what was going on. I didn't understand what the fallout was about. And I mediated between the both. 
I'm sorry. If you don't know why somebody's fallen out, how can you mediate? Hey, <laughs> hey, come to Scotty. Anybody come to is absolutely fine. Don't worry. But how, how can you mediate if you don't know what they're talking about? You surely have to understand what the hell they're actually talking about. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Coral, for the sub. 16 months, thank you. Top mod. At that point, please tell me what I did wrong in that call. So, if you actually read the comment, I didn't say you did anything. I said, I don't know why you're shocked about Luke's behaviour because you was aware of what he was doing the first time. And I was... It's a fair point. I, th I think that's a fair point. She starts going for views, just for having an opinion. Uh, maybe... Guys, if it gets busy, I might not be able to keep up with everything in the comments, but do talk amongst yourselves. I encourage our people are quite friendly within our Twitch community. Thank you, Miss Nobody, for the sub. That's three months. Thank you so much. I'm not laughing all once, by the way, now. But, um, yeah, you was um, aware of his call, of the call, because you mediated it. Because you were in it? In fucking... For 25 minutes about his behaviour towards men. You was even shocked in that moment. And then you was made aware. The thing is, though, in this situation, unless somebody recorded the call, Red could just be like, you're talking absolute shit. No proof. Then it just becomes like, who do you believe? Like, if you don't like one more than you dislike the other, then you're likely to believe them. Like, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is when you say... What was I shocked about? You were shocked about Luke's behaviour because you didn't know about it before then. But once you have that... No, 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 let's get all the truth out. What happened? Why is she got a hanky out? Is she going to cry? And a Luke spam, spam text me uh, for saying something on live, which you were shocked about. So if she didn't know what was going on and why they fell out, she pretended to mediate, but really just wanted to be nosy. <laughs> That's a great point. Well, after that... Uh, also, this video will be re-uploaded onto YouTube at some point, this live reaction. So if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button. And your comments, guys, they'll be there forever. Luke said that I have to, he has to go through you to decide who he blocks on his live, if you're asking. Which, by the way, I don't believe. And I, and I don't think you've ever put that on him. And that's what we've reached a conclusion. I think that's bullshit. And I think Brat... In that statement, he's trying to throw out an olive branch to Red to be like, pick me, <laughs> pick me in this, please. Pick me in this fight. Be nice to me. Conclusion within the call, and that's why I called you to find that out. Because the other day, I'm pretty sure, hey, Miss Begay, the other day, I'm pretty sure that he was saying that Luke said that he had to check with these people. You know what I mean? All right, so were you talking about the Canadian Angie situation? Judge told Prince Brat and told Angie, but she wants us to believe she didn't know. Uh, Honestly, that was one of the situations. But it just shows, right, if Angie's telling the truth about being used today, then it just shows that these people just use and cast aside, use, cast aside, use, cast aside. He's one of many. So, just to clarify, we've spoke once on the phone in a, and I mediated between you and Lou. So... So what you're insinuating... You can't mediate something you know nothing about. ...is I know everything that... What did you do? What was your level of mediation? We're like, don't tell me anything, don't tell me anything, don't tell me anything, just be friends. It took you 25 minutes. What's happened with you and Lou? Because if, you, if you're going to mediate, then you have to listen to both sides of the story and be like, well, he's right about this, but he's also right about that. And did a, a bit of coming to together, you know? Thank you, Laura, for the sub. That's 10 months in a row. Appreciate you. I didn't say that. I said you was aware of his behaviour because you said you've never... You said yesterday... Now, yeah, let's all have a go immediate. Angie's live, you've never been aware of Luke behaving like this. But you have because you've had a 25-minute call where you've seen him lash out you even you told him to stop. Oh, so Brat is accusing Luke of lashing out in this call. But like I said, Red could just be like, well, that's bullshit because there's no proof. Honestly, man, too many people... Trust too many people on fucking TikTok. What's uh, what's the uh, parasocial? One second. Here we go. What is a parasocial relationship? This is this is the shit, right? Um, viewers and media figures such as newscasters, presenters, and comedians who address an audience directly. So it's when people when people form connections to creators or people 
who were, uh, you know, well, I suppose like streaming like me or something like that. But then they believe that they're like part of a family, part of a team, part of any. But then when the creators are like mixing together, obviously if somebody like Brat, for example, Brat has a smaller platform than Red. You can't deny that. So he has a parasocial relationship with Red because he's looking up to Red and he's wanting to obviously build his shit off the back of Red as well. So, oh, we hit Hype Train level two. Thank you very much. Um, so, so it's weird, like, these people calling each other friends, they don't fucking know each other. It, it blows my mind. It really does. Darling, at the end of the day, right, uh, no. like I say, I'm, I was, I'm Luke's really good friend, and we were friends, right, darling? So at that time, I did the best to mediate between you and Luke so you weren't falling out. Okay? She did the best to mediate, but apparently had no idea what they were arguing about. Okay. Uh, friends. That's what I'm going to start doing, that bloody in between and shit. Got friends. TikTok friends. Oh, got creator friends. <laughs> so, so, it is though, isn't it? It really is. It's ridiculous. I've never been shocked by Luke's behaviour. I've um, never said to you, ever, that I'm shocked by his behaviour. Yes, you did. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, Red, you know, maybe, maybe Luke, um, fucking Luke, maybe Pratt is telling the truth. Maybe he's telling the truth. Red can just, like, no, I don't know what you're talking about because there's any evidence. Never said to you, yes, you shocked. Oh never. my God, you're such a liar. Never, you are so, such a never, liar. Never, you said to me on actually, the phone, you said to me on the phone, actually, I am so shocked. Well, this is awkward. Shocked by Luke's no, behavior, he's never been like that. Because all you this, are, you've done all this for a reason, darling. You're, you're such a liar. Happy. You was quite happy to go. She said the same shit to me. I'm I'm seeing a lot of parallels, you see, because when I spoke out about Red and what was going on with, with Zach the Brat behind the scenes and everything, because I was sick of hearing her go on like she was some fucking hero and wasn't involved in any of the shit and pulling strings behind the back, I, that's what made me want to speak. And, and obviously then I shared DMs backing up what I had said about what had gone on. And then... Prince Brat fired up alive for fucking ages, demanding me in the box, saying that I had broken trust and fucking all this sort of shit and da 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 da. And, like, fucking, that's what you've just done, you know? I think she's getting ready with the please gift me tissue in case she does cry. Thank you, Amy, for the sub. Did I miss somebody as well? I thought I missed somebody there. But that's the, you know, that's just the way I feel about it. Go along with what Luke was telling you until he upset Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like snakes be snaking and then snakes are like shocked when a snake bites them. Like, I'd, I don't get it. Now you've brought it all to TikTok. Yeah. And loads of people have been dragged in and you've tried to drag me this into is why, the This is why you've chosen aggression instantly. I, I didn't say anything rude about you. In fact, <laughs> you've got to be a fair blue. <laughs> she lit up a Mayfair Blue halfway through this, like, fucking, that Prince Brad, son of a bitch. <laughs> she, did she just have a sly drag? But this is why you've chosen aggression instantly. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody's fucking council estate mum about ready to kick the fuck off. Now listen here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> It is though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, glad I chose to watch this tonight. This is mental. Like, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I need to compose myself. So I didn't say anything rude about you. In fact, to this day, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? In fact, to this day, I think. Do you know what? Oh, she kind of get a drag off a tab. She's going to lose it. Nothing Red. to point to you, darling. And, and what have I been to? You can see the smoke. <laughs> do you know, like, Red, right? I hope you, God you don't play poker because you do not have a poker face. Not one bit do you have a poker face. Like, literally, got the tissue at the ready and lighting your Mayfair blues up. Yeah. And manipulating. But Miss Red, what about the phone call? And that's all he's getting from me. Ooh, <laughs> look at that stern face. Did she finish her mirror? He knows what he's doing. 
She's only had one drag. She's just wasting this. Um, she's well, might be. Right. Okay. Well, that there wasn't a lot of that, but the Angie thing's obviously a lot longer that we're going to watch. I thought I'd put that in a bloody thing. Uh, Luke joins. Yes. Let's go. Christ. I'll remind everyone again. The trigger warnings at the top here. So this is Luke join Angie. It's fucking two hours long. There's no way we're watching all of this. I'll tell you right now, if there's no way I'm sitting in to watch. But look at the observer with a cheeky little like, uh, edit. Make sure you're following the observer. Have I got any mods in? Could we pin the observer's YouTube link, please? Please give her a follow. Angie has just had it to do with Dave today. Oh, honestly. It was only about 15 minutes. All right. I'll fast forward. I'm not going to wait for, like, Angie just chatting. Yes. Guys, if you are triggered by the slide. Good God. <laughs> triggered by that. If, uh, please do. Uh, there's a big X button. I always say this. Hey, people. Every time, please do leave. Do not come to me. Do not watch and then decide that you. I did think about just ripping the audio for this and this being my new trigger warning audio. You're triggered. <laughs> 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 Fucking Popeye. Right, okay, what we've got? Is okay, come Luke. On soon? Uh, we I are waiting on Luke, talk. who will be jumping in. If, if, can I get a WhatsApp if, if we can't hear Luke? Oh, his audio was shit, wasn't he? I think he was like hiding around the back of the stables or something. <clears throat> Don't, please don't gift me. Please don't gift me. Angie, I don't want gifts. Oh, I can't help that. He stayed longer than 15 minutes, so he might have said that he only had 15 minutes, but he was there longer than 15 minutes. Angie just used that as an excuse to why she didn't open the boxes. Yeah, guys, Amen. I can't help that. So, let, let's let start, right? So, um, I met this lad on TikTok who was sat on his live one night. He was in tears, wasn't happy because he had um, nine people in his box. In his box? Went in there, threw him a few gifts, you know, had a chat with him, added him on Snapchat, you know. You see, Luke, Luke, Lukey boy, you remember that I knew you a long time ago where you just used to sit in lives that got about 20 views in them. Like, you know, you made friends with the right person as well, didn't you? Like, fuck off. Begged me to help him with his platform, begged me, begged, begged me, begged me. Fast forward a little bit on the whole Zach and misread incident happened. Um, who was right, who was wrong, who knows? I think we all know. <laughs> I think we all know who was right there and who was wrong. Weird that you just want to like, sort of like, we'll just, we'll just skim past that. We'll not give that too much attention because that would damn us a bit, wouldn't it? Jesus Christ, honestly. And um, I begged Alex not to go online. I said, don't. I said, don't be anywhere near me. Don't be anywhere near Miss Red. I said, stay away from it. He That's bullshit. Like I said, Brat was live talking about me and the Miss Red situation immediately. Immediately. He refused to do that. He went online. From that day forward, he built his platform. So friends, like I said, helped each other in battles. Friends talked off the app. This is somebody, Angie, that I spoke off the app every single day. Um, he knew that I'd have... She can't really cancel someone from TikTok, if I'm honest with you. Like, TikTok don't care. <laughs> like, if I was to do something outrageous on Twitch or YouTube, you get cancelled. TikTok just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen at all. I had a breakup because of TikTok. And I know he's waiting to out that, so I'll out myself right now, Angie. In January, somebody left me because, um... What just happened? One second, my phone just went weird. Because... Oh, wait there. Why is my... Why is my headphones disconnected? One second, guys. Me, me uh, headphones have gone off for some reason. <clears throat> That's weird. For God's sake. One second, guys. Sorry. I don't know what the hell happened there. Talk. Morning and night. There we go. Sorry. So that was the breakup of the person that I loved. And they haven't... 
Oh, yeah, this is really sad, man. He said, what, he spent too much money and too much time on TikTok and that ended his relationship. Jesus. And I'm, I'm sorry, like... I just find that really sad. Like, I'm not, like, mocking Luke, because, you know, it seems like he's hurting for it. But I'm entitled to think that if you cared about them enough, you'd have made the sacrifice or at least tried. But I suppose we don't know whether he did. But you know what I mean? Exactly. I don't understand. I don't understand if it was his full-time job and be like, well, it's my fucking job. Do you know what I mean? But he claims it isn't. So spoke to me again i'm sorry this may sound harsh but how could you love someone if you choose the app over the person you love it's a good point he's waiting to out this by the way so there you go prince brat i've outed it myself i chose tiktok over my relationship yeah but you see brat might never have spoke about that but it's a clever play by luke because luke is suggesting that he would and being the big, well, not the bigger man, but is also making you feel sorry for him by saying, well, this is what he's held against me and I'm going to own it. And it's a sad story. It is a sad story if he's lost a relationship because he chose TikTok over it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a clever move. It's, you know what I mean? I, I look at everything very black and white and I just think that's smart, smart bit of uh, manipulation. Which is the biggest regret of my fucking life. Okay, so low. Well, I mean, it's a fair comment, isn't it? The convicted liar. Everyone's to blame apart from him. Only that down, whatever. He knows about my mental health. That's why I'm disgusted with him and Chester. I'm not mocking your mental health, but you just said mental health, which I don't know is something else. You did right. So lonely oh. that down, whatever. He knows about my mental health. That's why I'm disgusted. Hmm. We'll, we'll just move on. I, lo I love when people make mistakes like that. With him and Chester, you know about my mental health. You know, they're the two people and Miss Red that know what I've got wrong with me. And can I just say, like, if you want to, if you're, if you're going to come on and say, I have mental health issues that I have a diagnosis for and these people know about it, but I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to manipulate people... By saying that you're in a sit, by saying you have something with di that's diagnosed, etc., and all that, you're doing it anyway. You just fucking just don't mention it. You could have just said my mental health's in a shit place. You don't have to say my mental health's in a shit place, and I've got a diagnosis that I don't want to disclose, but they all know about it. Just me personally, do you know what I mean? That's that's you know. Am I perfect? No. Am I a bitch? Yeah. You're a bitch about people. I, I I can vouch for that. Yeah, I am. Thank you, Miss Spaghetti, for gifting out a sol uh, fucking hell, a, a sub there to Chomping Willow. I'm not sitting here and ignoring the fact that I am a fucking bitch online, um, and I do bitch. But so I started getting messages about Alex, and I started oh, to step this. back from his live because um, he was asking for gifts some more. So we rang up and had a conversation. I said, Alex, just. Be careful about, you know, keep the gifting goal and keep, because it's at the time Karma Kaz was out in everybody for gift, for gifting manipulation. Right. Now, can I just say, right, Karma Kaz is outing people for gift manipulation. So calm it down in case somebody knows you're doing that. Just, just put a pause on it for a second. Let's all be a little bit. That is fucking manipulation. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You can't be like... <laughs> can't be like, you're saying it's manipulation. You're saying I've controlled him. When you're literally saying, fuck, this guy's looking at people, telling people a gift, maybe you should fucking calm it down. That kind of makes me think that you were all thinking about that as well. Which is interesting. So I asked Alex to stop... I said, Alex, if you don't know Alex, guys, that's Prince uh, sorry, Brett. Sorry, I asked Prince Brat to stop with the gifting. So if that is a form of manipulation... I doubt he did. ...he's insane to him, stop begging for gifts, then I'm guilty. Did you? Did Luke stop? <laughs> I got the fucking, get your heart maze in, get your heart maze in, come on. Right. So we fast forward um, 
I've got to send some screenshots, which I'm going to screen. Yeah, let's just fast forward past that with zero evidence. The, I'm going to I'm going to play a screen recording for you after this. I want you to hear. Well, in this screen recording, right? This screen recording, I understand what Luke's saying. I'm probably going to forward through because the audio quality was shit. But I get what the screen recording is trying to make out. Princess Bright is saying he's had a shit fucking mental health day, and he's basically saying that you know, if gifts. What do you call like, you know, if he was to hit his gift goal or something, it would make a shitty day a good day, right? You're literally in Angie's box talking about how shit your mental health is while we're saving a load of gifts. Just saying, just saying, like if you wanted to be like a level playing field, you literally less than two minutes ago were saying how you have a diagnosed mental health condition that you don't want to tell people about, but it's, it, you know it's been shit going through this. But you've been receiving gifts while talking. Like it. Uh, where do? You, are you all right? <laughs> where do you draw the line? Where, do, like, where, where do you say that the manipulation is? Like, people are going to express how they're generally feeling. It's very difficult sometimes, because if you're clever enough, you can put anything down to be in manipulation for gifts. If I tell you anything, you know, like I've had a shit day. If I if I come on here and say I've had a really shit day. Somebody might feel like, oh, well, if I send facts, whatever, I can't remember what you send on here, but send something like that, that might cheer him up. He's one of my favourite creators. Have I manipulated you then? It's it's very difficult to draw the line on that. As I discovered when I was obviously doing a lot of this stuff, talking about a lot of this stuff, Anonymous Gifter gave Scotty B a tier one sub. Thank you very much. And Mixie, thank you for subbing. Four months in a row, thank you what they were on about i don't know if that made sense does that make sense guys fast forward to the 9th of july canadian angie i had i had spoke to canadian angie through corey and asked corey if he would back off all this weird like i talked to this person because they had their ear and i'm asking them to do this and that, and that doesn't this just prove that they are just fucking trying to run the place and run the narratives that's okay, Emily. Prince Brat, because it was affecting the boyfriends and... The problem is, I feel sorry for AB and even Chester. They aren't getting looked to as believable because they're smaller creators. Therefore, they don't... Yeah, I get that. Hey, little marshmallow, you wanker. You should be able to say wanker on here with, and it come through. Um... Oh, Canadian, I'm not even going to talk about Canadian Angie because I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The Prince about Brat's it. mental health badly. I had these two on the phone crying, saying they were going to do stupid things regularly. Canadian Angie reached back out and said, "There's definitely proof of that." Yeah, she'll 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 bury it all, and uh, we'll go forward like that. So brilliant. Corey and Alex, uh, Prince Brat were okay. Sorted that out. Canadian Angie and Prince Brat were now okay sorted out. But then two accounts were made. Um, Is he hiding around the back of the stables like that with his phone or something? Because it sounds shit. It sounds like he's talking to his phone through his pocket or something. A handsome pigeon and cowboy's teeth were made. I thought cowboy's teeth was his account. Now, cowboy's teeth has uploaded some good screen recordings, if I remember back in the day, I think. They definitely do follow me, so I don't really give a shit. But I thought it was him. I mean, I, I don't know. I thought it was genuinely him. So when he's like, I said it was Angie, and then he says, I definitely know it's not Canadian Angie. Like, is that because it's you? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. And Canadian... Interference from the earpiece he has in for cockapoo. That's fucking... Angie weird. was accused of doing the accounts okay she was accused of it canadian angie the thing is right somebody's accused of making a i suppose we call them troll account because it's obviously it's not a nice name as a cowboy's teeth but what was that troll account doing uploading screen recordings of them doing things well and do those things then there wouldn't be the screen recordings would there you know what i mean like it's just i don't know I stood back a bit and said, I don't believe it's her. Because <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Is it just me that thinks that it's Luke? 
or does anybody else think this because I'm like he's like I'm telling you now I don't think that I can sir I could bet any money on it really how could you truly bet money on it how would you know well fuck me I was turned on oh <laughs> where are you living <laughs> Jesus Christ I did <laughs> What we're talking about here, like I wasn't. <laughs> this took a turn. Like nobody told me this was gonna go on. Like fucking hell, Luke, keep it in your trousers, Jesus. I was turned on. Screen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> if he says it again I'm, I'm gone guys the stream's over I can't. why did he say that I don't even know what that means the trigger warning's right there for god's sake and shouted how could you support her we've been friends I've told you about things you told me about which Angie I will not and I just want to make it clear to everybody in this live I will not be showing whatsapp messages I will not be showing screenshots publicly why I have done two reports this morning on Thank you. Prince Brat and Chester. I have done. Oh, no, you haven't. You know what the police are going to tell you if you have? To piss off. Like, honestly, I've been doing exposures for like four plus years, right? The, <laughs> every person I've done a deep dive on, anybody who's done a video has been like, I'm going to get the solicitor around. I'm going to report you to the police. I'm going to get this done, that done. There was one incident, you guys know, um, <laughs> police gave me an interview voluntary for harassment when I outed uh, somebody on the app who is in a relationship with a convicted paedophile, right? So I have sat at a voluntary and it's been thrown out and I feared for that. If I got charged for it, I would have worn it with chest. But for four years, I've had no shit like that. None at all. Absolutely none, right? <laughs> so people seem to mistake the law a lot when it comes to what people can and can't show. And I often think with messages, the reason you don't want to show them is because you're hoping that the other person will think the same as you, that they can't show theirs. So that you can't, you know, people can't be bringing evidence. Think about how many messages, screenshots, voice notes, shit like that I've put out in deep dives or, or investigations or exposure content or anything like that. The police knocking down my door? Absolutely not. I mean, without going into detail, you guys know there's been shit leaked out there by... That's my psycho ex, all right? She owns 50% of those messages, as do I. That's the way the law works. You have to prove it's malicious communication to cause harassment or threat of violence or threats... Of, you know what I mean? Things like that. And that's very hard to do. So it's not... It's just this excuse... Two report filed two reports on them this morning with evidence they showed WhatsApp messages not allowed. Anyway, oh fuck off, did you? Uh, I rang the police today and they asked whether I was allowed to take a bath today and they said no, you've got to use a shower. The water bill's too high. But I don't have to tell you guys. I don't have to prove that. But I'll just let you know I had that phone call. Like I hate when people do that, and that's what Angie did, wasn't it? Where I've had a voice note from such and such. Fuck off, have you? Like, I, I, too many people just believe anything anybody says. It's a farce. Not like, fuck we you like. Um, you know, I've just put this police report in, uh, Mr. Police Officer. Is it all right if I go live on TikTok later and talk about it and show all the screenshots? But if you give me a username, I'll drop you a uni, obviously. Like, Ford, I stood there on my shut live up. and I said, I don't believe it was Canadian Angie behind the... Yes, Big Daddy plush. Sounds like a weird name. That is a character. Cowboy's teeth account. Didn't believe it. Well, fuck me. Rung me going nuts. It is her. You're standing by her. So on the 9th of July... She it was probably your account. He gifted me. Somebody told me it was Luke's account, and I'm sure they knew. Mm. And I said, thank you, Canadian Angie. Because I remember it was, it was somebody, somebody I trusted came to me with it, and I was like... Oh, well, that makes sense, sly fucker. Do you know what I mean? Because at the time, he was obviously being mates with them. He could have provided evidence of any kind because he's up to his neck with the troubles that he's caused by the scenes. The percent. You go around fucking snaking and talking to so many different people, you fuck yourself, you know? Um, well, fuck me. 
But yeah, Angie hasn't asked one question, hasn't, um, you know, like, I mean, Luke would never do this in my life, for example, because obviously I would then be asking him all these different questions. I'd be saying, like, really? You're telling me the police told you that? And da -da -da. and putting a report in as well, by the way, for somebody, just because you've rang the police or you've done a, a report online doesn't mean that the guy's getting arrested and it's a crime and the police agree that it's a crime or the police agree that it has to be actioned. Police are going to get back to you in about three to five days and apparently you're on holiday. Um, so that might be a bit difficult. And then they're going to either ring you and say, this ain't a fucking crime or we can't progress with this based on what you've given me. Or they might ask for further evidence or a statement. And even then they might just go, nah, sorry, this ain't enough to keep going. I'm afraid. Um, oh, I don't know what's causing that, Miss Spaghetti. Me fired up alive after my life. I'm a manipulator. I've told him what to say. Blah, blah, blah. I've done all this. I've done all that. And uh, I was shocked. So we jumped on a phone call afterwards. And uh, I want to, because I know he's watching, I want to remind you, Prince, about what you said on the 9th of July when I asked you two questions. Well, this is ridiculous. Right, if I was Prince Brat's defence solicitor right we're, we're gonna listen to this and then i'm gonna do uh what, what, what did my solicitor company used to be on tiktok windy bitch solicitors windy bitch solicitors is gonna make a, an appearance i want to see if he denies this have anybody ever manipulated you and told you what to say no answer no i am a no but i think things get brushed over what do you mean my client, Prince Brat, said no to Luke the judge because he felt that there was a power dynamic at the time and he did not want to upset the cart. He tested the water slightly by saying that some things got left under work, but he really didn't want to upset the situation because of... Do you think just because the guy said fucking no that it was like, boom, there we go, he said no, he fucking meant it, boom, that's proof of that. Honestly, fucking reasonable doubt, motherfuckers. Um, thank you, Nez, for the sub. That's 10 months. Thank you. Like, what people class as evidence sometimes makes me laugh. And also, we haven't seen the messages. He's just saying it happened. Zach and EQ. Yes. I asked you to stop speaking about Zach and EQ for an easy life. An easy life. Because Prince Brat believed that the only time he had numbers in his room was when he was talking about EQ and Zach the Brat. Yeah, but it, if those messages are true, then Prince Brat hasn't said... I think we should be talking them about them because of the numbers in my room. That's Luke just saying that. You know what I mean? Well, like, he's just saying everything, to be fair. If he wasn't talking about EQ and Zap the Brat, then his numbers would go down to 100 people. OK? So Objection. Hearsay. Granted, you must provide evidence or ask a question. I'd asked him to stop speaking about them. Granted. That's not what a judge says. I'm not a judge. Shut up. So that night on the phone, he said that nobody had, um, nobody had. I've got. A... And last night, and in the same phone call, didn't you say you like to suck horses' feet? Like, can we just say anything? Can we just say anything? And people would be like, oh, my God, like. I remember this. Nobody had um, Angie happy to show you the proof as well. Um, he said that nobody had told him what. Well, yeah, people said that Luke was possibly... Now, last night, people were running with Luke was the person behind that account saying all the racial st shit with EQ's name, right? And I said last night, I went, you're taking the word of a guy who looks like fucking Humpty Dumpty and he's a fucking racist. Yes, it's wrong that his essay is being discussed, but we are supposed to now just trust this racist piece of shit? Like, evidence, please? Can we have some? to say or what to do because it wouldn't be his show now i started to take a pull back from prince back after this i thought fucking hell he's just gone online and outed me because of canadian angie because i allow canadian angie in my room but anyway if he outed you he didn't do a good fucking job because i never heard about it <laughs> everything was apologized everything was said everything was fine so i didn't so he feels i didn't support him enough with 
Miss Faye would ring me up and beg me to talk about Miss Faye on live. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just move the chat and look at Angie's face right now. <laughs> it's the most fucking active she's been and somebody had to send a gift to bloody move her lips. Do you know what I mean? Angie did a really good job of hosting this. Very informative, investigatory journalism almost. Fucking brilliant. Send me screen recordings of Miss Fate. Yes, I did eat. I wouldn't talk about Miss Fate and their argument. He'd go against me. Yeah? Miss Fate said some horrible shit as well. And I, I, that's a whole other live, isn't it? No. If I wouldn't show Zach be talking about cowboy. I can't remember the word Zach used, something to, like, can't remember if it was groomer or, I don't know what Zach said, right? I can't remember, but if I... I think Zach was talking about the age difference, wasn't he? I wouldn't show that online, I, I, I wouldn't show EQ online talking uh, about... Can I, can I stop you for a second? Someone... Oh, fucking hell, somebody walk her up. <laughs> said you were a little bit muffled, are you fiddling about with something? Sorry, is that... Yeah, she's a little winky. Fucking love TikTok. No, sorry. Sorry, that's terrible. Oh. God, I did tell you guys it's it's uncensored over here. I, I just... <laughs> trying to get the blood flowing again, any? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Is that is that yeah. better, guys? Just message me if it's not. Okay. He did say he was turned on. You know what I mean? Carry on. I've picked it up. So if I wouldn't play, if I wouldn't play EQ. Oh yeah, the puppy shit. Yeah, I don't want to kink shame anybody. Do you know what I mean? Like, but. Some people don't understand that shit, do they? But all I do know is there's a lot of people who abuse animals in the furry community. A hell of a lot. Are you talking about cowboy? Or if I wouldn't play um, Zach talking about cowboy and stick up for the pair of them. Bearing in mind, oh, fuck mind I was always on... It doesn't he say in a minute, yeah, I wouldn't do that because he's my mate. So you... never mind, we'll, we'll get to it. phone to them every night when their mental health were bad. When they were saying stupid things, and I mean... St stupid. You me the mental health was bad. And that's not the worst of it, Angie. They were saying stupid shit as well. Like, fucking hell. I was I was dealing with their mental health. I mean, yeah, they helped me with mine, but they were saying stupid shit. What? Just got a nudge from them. Stupid things over losing... Oh, Linz hits the fact that I uh, mentioned her intelligence because she mocked... Scotty's autism. Yeah, I think your intelligence is showing when you do something like that, you idiot. You stupid cunt. Like, nobody should be making ableism comments and I fucking despised what people said about Linz. I didn't think it was fair. I didn't think it was fair. And also educated me a bit because I didn't know about that particular disability. What? But... As soon as you get down in there gutter, yeah, that shows your intelligence. You fucked it. Because you were just screaming on a live lens about where was anybody's energy for Dave Duran when he was mocking Angie's mental health and da-da-da-da. And where was people for this and where was people for that? You know, being that whole, like, if they can do it, we can do it. Well, you know, if you don't have the high ground on it, you are stupid. You know, it's fucking stupid. He's in a battle over FYP. Let's get it out there. Cowboy did want... I wish this fact could be on TikTok. I mean, I do, and I get banned. It wants Prince to stop doing FYP. I said to Prince, you should never be told what to do. But then when Cowboy explains... Says the guy who left his partner for TikTok. <laughs> I mean, I can't, you, you just can't fucking make it up, can you? Oh, fuck me. Nobody should tell you what to do, but my partner left me because I wouldn't, I wouldn't do what she was saying and uh, and then leave TikTok. Like, what the hell are you talking? About? Like, honestly, I, I, it baffles me. It all baffles me. It's, well, Squiffy, I'm not going to say that out loud, but obviously it's fucking not. Do you know what I mean? But it's not a game of top trumps. Just because one person says one thing doesn't, you know, give other people a pass. Do you know what I mean? They're all cunts if they speak like that. Explain to me on the phone about why their relationship was going downhill. I said, Cowboy, no TikTok. If you're getting adverts like that person who won't be able to hear me <laughs> uh, and you want rid of them and you have Amazon Prime, somebody's going to post a link in the chat. If you sign into that with the Amazon Prime, you can sub for free. You'll get rid of those adverts. All right. Not worth no relationship. 
the fuck is wrong? Can I just quickly do a photo, um, just uh, put my... Put what? A ...comments on really quickly, because um, someone is still saying it's... <laughs> really quickly, I don't want anybody to upset you. Really quickly. Really muffled, like you got your hands over your phone. Can I just ask the comments really quickly, Luke? Guys, can you hear? Is that... Thank you for posting the link. Is it okay? People are saying it's kind of muffled. This, I mean, Angie said that this was all set up and she's being used almost, right? You can just tell. She's just fucking sitting there like a plank. My back. Have you heard everything that's been said so far, though? We've all heard it. People are saying it's quite muffled. Do I, I don't know if you want to... Is it fine or what? Luke fancies CLA and EQ. Am I back? Am I back? <laughs> Me just being like, what are? Mm. Back. Is that better, guys? Yes, yes. People are saying it's muffled or sounds... But can you hear the conversation? Some people are saying yes, some people are saying no. I don't, I don't know what to do, Angie, because you know, you know I've got... I've, I've literally need to get through this, Angie, because I've literally I've got, got headphones many... on. No, I haven't got anything. It's really muffled and not clear. It's like, Angie, we rehearsed this. Shut the fuck up. All right? I don't know what to do, guys. Luke fancies Lucy. It's all very schoolyard, all that shit, though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Grow up. It's like whenever I speak out against somebody in the female, they're like, oh, you fancy fancy. Fuck me. Are we still in the playground? Have you heard everything so far, though? I mean, it might be muffled, but can you still hear? Have you heard everything, Angie? Don't we can hear. Like okay, that. can hear. It's fine. Okay, carry on. It's all fine. Right, okay. So, let, let, let's skip forward. I'll be watching this till about nine o'clock, guys. Forward to the incident with one of his mods where we had the fallout. And I'll, I, I'm not going to mention any names because it's not fair on this mod. <laughs> but you're going to tell their full story and it's going to be very obvious who they are to the people involved. Wanker. So Alex had a mod. This is when the fallout started. So Alex had a mod that had gifted um, one of his other mods quite substantially. And it, me and Alex classed it as gay baiting, what the mod had done. What? Gay bait? Is that a game show? <laughs> I know Cowboy does game shows. Is that is that the game show? I doubt it is. What is gay baiting? I swear to God, my search history is ruined with these sort of things. <laughs> I don't know whether I should be switching the monitor off for this one. I think we'll, I think we'll, I don't know what is going to come up on the screen, so we'll just, we'll just play it safe for now. What is gay baiting? What is gay bathing? Oh my god. <laughs> this has not gone well. Look. <laughs> Fuck's sake. God damn it. Right, I'm going gonna, gonna to pronounce things more clearly. Fuck's sake. Right, okay. What is gay baiting? According to Wikipedia, oh. queer baiting is a marketing technique for fiction and entertainment in which creators hint at, but do not depict, same-sex romance or other LGBTQ plus representation. What? What is the meaning of gay? The purpose of this method is to attract or bait a queer or straight ally audience with the suggestion or possibility of relationships or characteristics that appeal to them. Not alienating. What? While not alienating homophobic. Does that say homophobic? Am I reading that right? Oh, you can't say. I thought I was having a dyslexic moment. That word I've highlighted, that is homophobic, right? Members of the audience or censors by actually portraying queer relationships. So it's like teasing it. A little tease. Oh. Well, I thought... <laughs> fuck's sake. I, <laughs> I thought... Does it... Right, okay. Let's, let's do some, some learning with facts. Do you all know what asexual is? The other day I was told about asexual. <laughs> Somebody said about that. And I was like, ah, asexual. I know what that means. That means you're not particularly like bothered about how that person identifies. You're just attracted to the person, right? Apparently fucking not. Apparently not. Well, let's see if it says it on here. What is asexual? 
According to Wikipedia, asexuality is the lack of sexual attraction to others, or low or absent interest in or desire for sexual activity. I can't get anything right. I can't get fucking anything right, I swear to God. I suppose that's what I am at the minute. That's pansexual. What are you like, anyway? Well, there we go. Do you know what I mean? Fuck it. Never mind. Never mind. Am I gay baiting right now? I suppose when, when I used to go out on gay night in Sunderland with my mates, and I'm not gay, and a guy used to send a tray of jelly shots over, and then I used to be like, I'm with my partner actually. Is that gay baiting? I mean, I didn't want the jelly shots, but I drank them. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be on the FYP, isn't it? So the guy <laughs> had rung Alex and said to Alex, "Fucking horrible jelly shots, like bloody down in a slug." Oh no! Oh, <laughs> you guys get the horrible reference there that I've just crossed over. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know, I work a normal job. I'm giving this. Scotty, it's your own goddamn fault. There's no rules on Twitch. That's why I'm streaming it here. If you're going to come to on TikTok, you're taking your own risks. All right. This guy, all my money. You know, I like him. I'm giving him all my money. So I spoke to the guy. Oh, fuck. I've, I've, lost, I've lost it here. I don't even know what's happening. We've educated ourselves about all sorts of shit. It was a big thing that Luke's, like, slept with guys as well. Like, who cares? It's fucking 2024. Like... It's, I don't think other people should be sharing that because people have a right to obviously, you know, decide whether they want to keep that private or not. But I don't think Luke should feel ashamed of that if that's true. Hi. And I said, listen, you don't have to pay to be a mod. Come into mine. You're a good guy. He started gifting me. I said, if you give me one more thing, you're blocked. Can we get the Merlin uh, emote in the chat, please, subs? Merlin's ignoring me tonight. He's just chomping on a bone. You're blocked. If you give me one more thing, you're blocked. Messaged him on Snapchat, right? That night, this is the guy Big love. that cares about gifting and mental health. That night, I've gone into Prince Bratz Live. This mod has dropped Alex 7K. I messaged Alex and I said to Alex, what are you doing? Yes, basically, Hannah. He's just told you that he's got a problem and he's spending all his money on TikTok. What are you doing? for a chance at the cock is that is that what he said is it the, the gay bit is that why he sent the money i've lost it i don't know why like this is all just a nice little story time without any fucking evidence and he turned around and said no it's under control it's fine i've spoke to him i said he's told you he's got no money and he's gifting you alex what are you doing that was the first the, i just want to give people context to me texting him and having a go at him because i did text him and have a go at him i said that's absolutely wrong He's told you he's doing all his money. Angie's off. Everyone just watch, right? So Luke is telling his very emotional story. Very emotional story about gay bait and all that sort of stuff. And off Angie goes. Every week Hi, on one Angie. of your other mods that goes like... Angie cares. Five. And you're <laughs> sitting there taking money off him. Brushed past. Was forgotten. So... Let's go back to what happened the other day when he went live and said about the manipulation. I'll see you, Angie. Because I speak to his mum offline, because she's, she's a lovely woman. She's quite lonely. She's lovely. So the other day, something... Did he just... Sorry. The, those sort of sly comments really pissed me off. I was talking to his mum the other day. She's lonely. She's lovely. Why do you have to say she was fucking lonely? Like, are you trying to be like, I'm a big man because I message her and she's lonely? Or is that like a sly... She's lovely. <laughs> She's fucking lonely. Jesus. Fucking, like, what? <laughs> I just, honestly, the slyness, the weirdness. I think happened in Miss Red. Maybe that's where she started drinking the wine, yeah. It's live. Something happened. And, um... Oh, what happened? I'm assuming something you don't want to talk about you're going to move on from? Dave jumped in. You jumped oh. in. Something about New Zealand with you, and. You're talking to Angie, she's not fucking there, mate. And because I didn't defend him, this is where it's all coming from. What do you think, Angie? Anything you want to say? I mean, Jesus Christ. She had four, four pints. Because I didn't defend him against you. I'm fake as fuck. I didn't defend him. 
Amen. You said it. I'm against Angie, I should have booted Angie out the box. Bearing in mind, this is the guy that has said to me, and this is how we move on to Chester. I shouldn't have nothing to do with Miss Red because she never stuck up with me over Zach. I shouldn't be part of Gracie's agency because she supports a racist and someone that's homophobic and whatever. I shouldn't part. This guy... There's no proof of Evil Queen being racist, is there? Is that what he was talking about? There isn't proof of that, is there? What is there? And I just... Everybody that he made... Like what he's talking about recent, I think. It's a problem with, I, I have to block. Or if I don't stick up for him, he goes on a rant and goes... Can I also guys. just say, Luke, I can vouch for that because for some reason, um, Prince Brett came for me and I don't know why. We had an argument and all of a sudden he was saying it's because you didn't defend... No solid proof of it, no. I didn't think so. And then because he was... Because, and, but Angie, I've had this for a year. I've had this for a year. If I... <laughs> Scotty, I hope you enjoy it, mate. I don't defend him if I don't play something. I didn't want to play the Miss Faye stuff. Right, listen to this. He's talking about Prince Brad asking him not to play certain things on his FYP show. Remember, Miss Red and the likes, if it's on the FYP, we're going to talk about it. It doesn't matter who it involves. Well, if I don't play something... I didn't want to play the Miss Faye stuff. I didn't want to play. He begged Why? me not to play when he was transphobic to Miss Why did you not want to play it, Luke? Faye. I said, we're friends offline. I'm not going to play it. Didn't want me to play the clip of him being transphobic towards Miss Faye. Don't worry, I'm not going to play the clip of you being transphobic because we're friends offline. Like, that's called a self-snitch, Luke. Because you're literally being like, oh, well, it's all, you know what I mean? We're, we're, not, we're not focusing on that. We're not focusing on that. I don't know whether Luke also played clips that showed Miss Faye in a bad light at the same time. I think he's saying he didn't speak about anything, but that speaks volumes about the way they operate. Do you know what I mean? Like, he obviously thinks that's something that makes him look good because he's, I've been so nice to Prince Brat, I wouldn't talk about that. But what you're actually saying is your morals, your morals on this, you know, I'll speak about anything, I'll call anything out, I'm unbiased, is bullshit. Because you weren't going to bring it up. He begged me. I've had it all. If someone comes in his box and says something about him, mute, block, he blocked him in my life. Do you know what? I'm sad this has happened because I lost two friends, but I'm not sad because I have to, don't have to put up with what I was going through. How can you be sad and not sad? I'm sad, but I'm not sad. So you're not sad. And you can believe me, not believe me. I don't give... I don't... Th well, I think you do give a shit. I don't... A shit. You do. You do give a shit because that's why you're here. <laughs> that's why you're fucking talking. That's why you're saying anything. You know what I mean? You could have just been like, I'm never addressing it. Either still stick with me or whatever or don't. I'm not, you know what I mean? That's it. Do you know what I mean? If you don't give a shit what people think, then why are you here putting your story across? You just, you could literally have just gone on your fucking holiday that you said you're going on anyway, come back and just do your FYP show, put comment blocks on in your chat and just fucking move on and ignore it. Do you know what I mean? But let me play you something that was sent to me not so long ago. Let me play. Here's the audio. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry, Luke apologises. It was a collage thing that he made about EQ. I'll tell you something. This was sent to me. This is using mental health as manipulation. Luke, drive me up. I'll, I'll be five minutes. Tell him I'll be out in five minutes. Okay. This is... Huh. um. Luke, <laughs> he needs piping off. Is that what it just said? That, that did sound like that. Luke, drive here. I'll, I'll be fine. Oh, your driver's here, Luke. Come on. Come on. I'm fucking driver's here. Do you think he told them to come in and say that? Minute, tell him I'll be out in five minutes. Okay. This is... Driver? My driver? My driver can wait. My driver can wait. Um, Do you know who I am? This is the manipulation. Tell him I'll drop him a fucking galaxy. Of somebody. For gifts. For gifts. I know why Prince Brat's done this. 
and I know why Chester's done this. Yeah? Because they're snakes like you, like they're all fucking snakes, like... I'll move on to Chester in a second, but let me listen, because I don't give a fuck. You better move on quickly, because the driver's outside. Up anymore. Yes, you do. That's why you're here. This was sent to me about... I'm not affected. Why are you saying it then? About three yeah. weeks ago, saying, this is your friend and this is the manipulation levels. Please just listen, guys. And I have not many friends in real life, more than one later on, I And a part-time fitting in with groups and growing up. And my friends and comfort is TikTok. And you guys make my days and nights more than you probably know. And, you know, when I try to set people a little bit crazy at times, they... Why is being nice about his community manipulation? I miss something. I can mess up at times. Like, I love, you know, I, I always think it's weird when a creator says, I love you guys, but you do end up saying it sometimes. I think and it is a genuine thing where you're like, I do, like, you know, I obviously appreciate my community, the support I have. Which I, if I say that, am I manipulating you? I'm just telling the fucking truth. Do you know what I mean? And obviously tonight, I'm spending some of my evening with you guys, and I enjoy doing it. That's why I'm fucking doing it. That's not manipulation, is it? It's the fucking truth. If you know what I mean? Like, I'd be more like, oh, guys, you know, I'd be more annoyed if I came on and said, hey, guys, I'm loving you all being here. Can we get 100,000 likes and some shit before I do my content? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's using your community. That's using your community because you want to push it out to grow your audience, to get more views, to get whatever, or get so many fucking heart maze in or whatever. If you're just saying that you really fucking love your community, what's wrong with that? If you didn't like your community or what you do on the app, you shouldn't be fucking on it. You say the wrong things, but there's one thing. Everything's set to manipulate the OV. Like, literally, you can say things without meaning to, you know what I mean? I could say I've had a really fucking shit day. Like I said before, I could say oh, I had a really shit day. And somebody might think, oh, I'll send facts something on his wish list to cheer him up or something. I haven't asked for it, I'm just genuinely expressing how my day is. Did I manipulate you? It's very difficult, you know what I mean? It's very difficult. I think when people definitely commit fraudulent things, like Feisty's £100,000 GoFundMe to save a house that you didn't fucking own and shit, that's clear manipulation for money. Uh, somebody, you know, like, th there's lots of examples like that where it's, it's clear and it's set. People lying about illnesses, things like that, you know what I mean? About me that I do truly care about. Well, I haven't heard this full clip yet, but... And sometimes it's a strength, and sometimes it's a weakness, because I get in the down end on it, but I do really care, and I hope people know that. Please think of this kind of sound, like that's great for me, please. Shit, a sound quality, I haven't heard. Just thank you for being here. Really Everyone miss Merlin cam. You guys like to see Merlin now and again on the stream, do you? I don't know if I can see... Oh, for God's sake, he's on the other side of me, isn't he? Merlin, where are you? Oh, for fuck's sake. How do I not know how cameras work? Merlin, you're looking at me like a fucking dickhead. He's there. <laughs> that took a while, didn't it? I didn't want to bloody draw too much attention. It's not going mental. Mm -hmm. Merlin's sad, guys. Aren't you, Merlin? What's that? You need a universe? You can't send me universes on here, guys, so... <laughs> uh, I guess the only way is up, I guess. Um, can we get to 10 gates out? This recording didn't prove for Luke. It's just Prince saying he appreciates his community. Can we put a blue and white heart in the chat as well, guys? Can I get a blue and heart chat or whatever? That's an emoji, right? Hi, Kate. I mean... Can we put a blue and white heart in the chat? Can you share as well, sir? Sorry, I must keep on This is sh this is horrible quality, isn't it? I'm gonna take the new car off. I'm just gonna put the new amazing and the hot shot. Two gifting goals up there. See if we can get them. It'd be a nice way to end the town. So I'm gonna put two gifting goals. Let's see if we can end it on there. That'll be a nice way to end it. Like, I know what Luke's trying to get at. He's he's talking about gifting and goals after saying all that sort of shit but I, I, I just like 
It's one of them, like, where do you draw the line on this? Thank you. Why is, An why is Angie looking shocked? The two of them have been receiving gifts the whole goddamn time while Luke's been talking about how shit his mental health is and how he has a diagnosed mental health condition, but he wouldn't disclose what that is. Not that he should have to. But it's all, bit, you know, you could argue that this whole live has been sympathy and he's got gifts on. And I'm sure Angie will probably have a goal on at the time. Do you know what I mean? Like, where, where do you draw the line just because you don't like the person? I mean, if that was the best you've got, that's desperation. How are you? Thank you for your lovely kindness earlier. Hello, thank you for your lovely, lovely kindness earlier. He sounds like a monster. Everyone share the live up, please. Thank you so much. Let's try and get some hot shots. I really love them. Let's see how many of those we can get. Does anyone know, is a hot shot like a regular gift? Does anybody know how many coins that costs? This is a guy that's been on for 20 minutes saying how, day, how down his day is and says, let's... That wasn't a 20 minute recording, Luke. What the fuck are you talking about? He's been on 20 minutes talking about how his mental health shit. Well, that recording, mate, was about a minute long. Well, it was longer than a minute, but it definitely wasn't 20 minutes. It wasn't even five. Get some of the amazings. Let's get some of the gift goals and make a terrible day better. This is who this person is. I didn't actually hear that bit. This is who this person is. Gifts, goal, that's all he cares about. Am I guilty of bitching and moaning about... Are you guilty of asking for heart maze every fucking two seconds? Yes. ...people on the FYP to a friend offline. Absolutely guilty of it. But what I won't have, and I'll move on to Chester now, is what I won't... You better hurry up, your driver's outside. ...fucking have, is people saying that I outed Chester's trauma. Now, I want to take... Oh, right, OK. Can I just, like... Take a minute. So what they're going to say now is that Chester out of his own trauma about two, I think there's a discrepancy, either in March or two years ago. I can't remember. We'll listen to what they said originally. Um, on a live, there wasn't many people or whatever, but he'd spoken about it, right? But then he's saying, when well, I didn't out it or bring it to the app. Well, actually, what you did was you brought it up quite a while afterwards with somebody who had nothing to do with it at the time, all right? So it wasn't like Chester had just done it and you were friends with Brad and you were like, oh my God, have you seen what Chester's just said or Chester's just done or whatever? You have brought it to somebody. 99 coins, cheers. You have brought it, so it's like just under a quid, is it? So, you ha so he was asking for two of them. But anyway, so he has obviously brought it yeah, he's just reopened the scab, isn't he? And it's obviously, it's more publicised. Fucking everyone's talking about it. So it's, it is, it is bringing it, you know. Take hey, Chester back. I did try and contact Chester this morning because I was asking for the money back that he borrowed two days ago. When he rung me two days ago after Prince Brat thing and said, and was crying on the phone and borrowed a hundred quid off me to go to Liverpool and sort his mental health out. I don't think a trip to Liverpool will sort anyone's mental health. So, sorry, sorry, people of Liverpool. I've just lost a hell of a lot. I mean, I can back that, you know. I mean, let's let's have a look. Best things to do in Liverpool. Maybe top rated things to do in Liverpool. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's two us. Right, OK, let's see what Chester could have done with his 100 quid. Um, he could have gone to Chester Zoo. Oh, actually, is Chester Zoo in Liverpool? That's got to be bullshit, right? Oh, no, right. He could have gone to the Anfield, Anfield Stadium. The Beatles story. I'm actually, oh, I'd like to go there. Um, the Royal Albert Dock, Liverpool. The British Music Experience. I could see Chester really getting into that. Um, what about the Western Approaches Museum? This, this is right up Chester Street, this. See tickets and tours, right? How much we're talking? Oh, 13 quid. 13 quid. I know I'm being a dick. I'd love to, I, you know what it is? I would love to go to the Beatles one. I've just lost a load of followers from Liverpool, haven't I? Well, I don't care. I'm putting a war on Liverpool. No. <laughs> I just like, 
you know, if your friend is an alcoholic, which is what he's going to allude to when he says that he offered money to send him to rehab, you don't give him 100 quid so he can go get pissed to solve his problems. Like, I'm sorry. Let me let me talk about Chester. Now, Chester, I want to take you back to the 12th of March. I'm not going to out these. I'm not going to out these publicly online because it's illegal. Angie, have you heard? It's not illegal. It's not illegal. I, I don't... And this is the voice notes that you lied about. Have I sent you what was said? The voice uh-huh. notes? Yeah. Kill Scouts, man. Yes. Now, on the 12th of March, Chester messaged me and asked him why a mod wasn't talking to him anymore. Why is this mod not talking? Can you confirm that's true, Angie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Angie. And I stated in the voice notes, this is Bullshit. a screen recording sent to Angie. And I said, well, she's not talking to you because you outed on a live in front of 15, 20 people, you outed what somebody did to you. you- so wait a minute. This is what I didn't get as well. So Luke was saying that the evidence he had that Chester had outed his own trauma was a voice note that Luke had sent to Chester saying, you've just done this, that or the other. He could have said that. He could have sent that recording to himself on WhatsApp today and then shared it to bloody Angie. And also, even if it was done at the time, it doesn't prove that it actually happened. <laughs> like... I could just send bloody Alison here in the chat a voice note and go, Alison, I can't believe last night you took your tights off, slung them round your head and smashed your bloody lasagna all over the place on a live. You've let yourself go. And then I could send that voice note to Angie and go, say, I told you what Alison's like. I told you what she's like. Drop lasagna everywhere. And Angie would be like, oh yeah, that's evidence. The fuck? It, honestly, it blows my head. Like, I don't understand... I really, I mean, the voice note apparently never existed anyway. So, but I love that they put this plan together and thought it was genius. You were drunk and outed it, and Chester's reply was. Also, you could, you, you know, you could lie to somebody who's pissed. You might not remember what the hell happened. Don't something along the lines of, um, he was drunk. It happened. I just want Alison to know, I fucking love lasagna. All right, I'm like Garfield over here, so. Don't take it personal. And he, he did it because he was in the pub with his boyfriend. Is that true or not, Angie? That, that is true, which is which he's entitled to do because it's, you know, he is, you know, the victim in that. But I don't know if you want to start from the beginning as to what happened, you know. I think he did start from the beginning, Angie, but you were off somewhere asking Sheila to get you dressed eat or something. I don't know. I what don't want to talk about Chester's trauma. I don't no, want no, to not talk about the... You didn't have a problem with Prince Brat, did you? Trauma, but talk as to um, uh, what was what was said in that voice note. He said that he was... <laughs> yeah, can you tell me what was said in the voice note? Because you uh, you didn't send me one, we're lying. <laughs> so... He said the reason... I've had a few glasses of wine since we came up with this shit. The reason that he went live, or the reason that he was on a live, is because he was angry and upset with the person because he was in the pub with his boyfriend and now he's ignoring him. But my point was, Angie, of sending you that was to prove to you that on the... Tw- Chester and I... I didn't pr- a voice note of you talking doesn't prove what somebody else said. I advise you to go back through your messages the 12th of March and listen to the voice recording and then come on and apologise for saying I outed your trauma. You outed your trauma. Basically, you... what happened, can I just say this, yeah. Luke? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I, I'm only going by what here, what I've heard, guys. Listen, and I'm not, like, best friends with Luke. I'm not fr- I'm, I like less... Yes, make me a lasagna. Uh, Chester and I like Luke. I'm just saying what I heard, OK, on that, that note. Oh, I think Angie just says she likes anybody that she wants to get in the box. Also, I think when she thinks like, oh, if I went in on him at the minute, it wouldn't look good for me. Voice note that um, it happened. F- You've got to do that more slyly, haven't you, Angie? You've got to get people in the box to challenge that person. Five years ago, I'm not going to talk about his trauma, but it was five years ago, um, Chester forgave him. You are talking about the trauma. You just gave a timeline. Pardon me. You just gave a timeline to when the trauma happened. Until you just said that, nobody knew that. Yeah, hadn't spoken to him for a year, but did forgive him, so they were still together. What the fuck are you talking I'm not going to talk about his trauma. It happened five years ago. This forgiven, did it? This is all the thing. I don't know whether I. I don't know. I just. Pff. Although that guy has said he's not in a relationship, he's never been in a relationship. Look at the fact Frank manipulating his audience for lasagna. Relationship with Chester, but you know, they. She's out and everything. <laughs> She's out and everything for God's sake. still speak and Angie, you know what? Angie, uh, can I, Angie, can I just say that the reason that the... I'm 
not going to house his trauma. How many people were watching this live? How many people were watching this live? You just talked about the whole fucking thing. You just talked about the whole goddamn thing. How is this not? Mod wasn't talking to Chester at the time was because Chester was in bed three days before that on live. They were in bed together three days on a live. They were in bed together. And then he goes live three three days later in front of I don't understand. On a social media I'm not going to talk about it and then platform, immediately talk and about said, it. And said, he great me. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I've, I've, you know, recently struggled with my mental health from shit that's gone on. And I can't imagine, even though I can't stand Chester, and I really, like, I'm, I'm very conflicted because I don't believe racists have human rights. I would normally give an absolute shit um, about anybody, but I can't imagine like hearing this discussion all the time. Do you know what I mean? And like what that might make you feel. Um, yeah. Yeah. So he's talking about five years ago, guys. The trauma happened five years ago. Okay, which is fine. You can forgive people. I, I, I I'm. Thank you, Laura. To get that, but then um, I think he. Uh, what happened is because. Yeah, you can get gripped in a relationship. Of course, you can. Have I missed something here? No one deserves it. Oh, tell me about it. Then this guy blocked him. He, he, he blocked him and wanted nothing to do with him. So then um, Chester went to the pub, got a bit drunk, and decided to go on a rampage and altered. Which I listen. I believe believe Chester what happened to him okay um went on a rampage and outed and said that he had you know well... <laughs> I'm going to point out something here so Luke isn't been outing Chester's trauma yeah they've just spoken about the trauma in detail right more detail than I ever knew about it and I'm assuming you guys will say the same in the chat right you guys possibly didn't know about it either until now, the majority of you. But if Luke isn't going around out in Chester's trauma, how does Angie know so much detail about Chester's trauma? Chester hasn't told Angie the details, right? So how does Angie have a great understanding of Chester's trauma if Luke hasn't told her about it? He's literally in a live defending that he doesn't talk about this man's trauma and it's being discussed in great detail between two people who he's had to have told about the trauma in great detail. Yeah? Like, honestly, just... Well, you know the rest, okay? He went on live, guys, where he went public with it. So, and then, like, anyone else would be like, oh, my God, did you watch that live with so-and-so? He, and, um, as a shock factor, as a shock factor, not because I don't believe Luke did it out of malice to, 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 to say it to Alex as to what happened. He was saying, oh, my God, Alex, shock factor. Alex, he went live. Alex would constantly ask me, why I was friends with Chester. Why would I stand by Chester? He's a racist. He's a transphobic. He's a pisshead. I, I just can't believe what I'm hearing from two people that I've supported. I mean, I know he's a racist. I know he's a pisshead. Has he been transphobic? And the mistake yeah. was mine. I don't, I don't know. Possibly. I mean, fucking hell. And I'll but apologize. I think the bottom line is, though, Luke, is that you didn't out something private. I did not. Um, <laughs> How do you know all these details, then, Andrew? Chester did, did go live with it, and I did hear I did hear that voice note, and I can confirm he did go live. Um, the voice note that you admitted after this didn't exist. About what happened to him. Remember when I said you just don't trust Angie? She's a fucking liar. She's a bullshitter. She doesn't give a fuck about anybody. This is just another example. About his trauma. Can I just address a, a comment that Janet made as well yesterday that I was told Janet's his friend. Like I said, I'm not here to... Me and Chester have been friends for two years. I've stood by him, financially helped him, offered to put him into rehab, offered to pay... Offered to give him 100 quid so he can go on the piss. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't the solicitor when he was arrested for assault. Now that's cheating, I've thrown that in there. And can I just ask, why do you need a solicitor paid for? If you've been done for assault, criminal 
advice, criminal solicitor, etc. It's free. It's free. It's free. Do I have to say like anything? Like you know when they said, "Should we get a solicitor for you?" You know if you're arrested or something. It's because it's free. It's because it's free. You don't have to pay for a solicitor in a criminal offence when you're being prosecuted. You just, you just fucking don't. You you don't have to do it. It's not like if it was a civil thing, fine. But you don't need to pay for a solicitor if you've been, I assume, arrested or charged because of an assault or something like that. So, like, th these things that just don't make sense. He's just throwing that in, obviously, to tell everyone that Chester's been violent at some time, once again without any evidence, and then said, so I could pay, pay for a solicitor? Well... Luke's either an absolute moron and took Chester's word and gave him money for something he didn't fucking need money for. Who knows? Six, seven, eight months ago, weeks ago, I can't remember. I've done everything for him, right? I didn't stand by him on the race. Have you, though? Have you done everything for him? Have you ever massaged his feet? Have you ever helped him remove his nasal hair? Have you helped wipe his ass? I, I, like, what are you talking... I hate fucking phrases like that. No, you haven't done everything. And I explained why I didn't. But Janet saying I've heard the bullying when I've tried to get Chester offline. Janet's a fucking bitch and all. I don't, <laughs> the only clips I've ever seen of Janet, she's been fucking vile. So, like, none of these people are fucking angels, man. Tried I mean, to get him to be is, but, extremely know. transphobic. I get messages. Wasn't Luca in the proof paper for fraud, though? He should have known, yes. Maybe he wishes he bought a solicitor, a better solicitor. Angie, I get messages from people going, he's online saying that Evil Queen is a paedophile. I get messages. And he did. It, I'm laughing because, like, it's fucking ridiculous as well because that's also not true. And uh, Chester got pulled up about that as well and had nothing to back it up with. But the thing is, though, like, Luke, you know, <sighs> Luke and Chester are friends. So with his mates online oh, doing crazy shit pissed, yeah, people are going to message you. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's, he's online exposing um, Evil Queen for something to do with Danny. I get messages, get him offline. It's not relevant, it's deflection. And I'm done with it. To, if this has to happen to get away from these two people, fucking over the moon. I'll never speak to them. I'll never speak about them again after this life. But people have to understand. I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Understand what's being twisted. People have to understand what people are doing for clout. Yeah. They clout. They have to understand what's... Clout's like TikTok's venereal disease, isn't it? Going on. I've helped these two, two people. We had friendships offline. Do you know what? Zach the... We had... Par oh, oh, oh. Zach the Brat. And what's going on. I've helped these two, two people. We had friendships offline. Do you know what? Zach the Brat said something very true the other... And I will give him... You're a bellend. <laughs> I, I don't think Zach said that. Fucking man. credit for him. Can't stand the bloke, but I'll give him credit. He said, you don't have friends um, on TikTok. Not with people like you. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, I've, you know, I think people have said that for fucking ages. He said, you can't trust people. And he was 100% fucking right. Can I ask you a question, Luke? How did, it, how did you feel that day? Because I spoke to Luke yesterday, okay? And you were very... I haven't, I haven't mental health as to what people were saying on that live. I, I, yeah, he basically I haven't is. cried in front of my dad for about since I was a kid. I'm quite a hard, you know. I, I... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> when I see Luke, I often think he looks like a hard man. Especially when he's screaming and shouting in the box saying he'd love to punch Zach the Brat over or whatever. Uh, screaming down a microphone. I was shook by him then. Absolutely terrified. Um, Liam Nielsen and Taken has absolutely nothing on Luke the Judge. Neither does Bruce Willis and Die Hard. But, like, in all seriousness, like, you know, men's mental health, anybody's mental health is no fucking joke. And he could be telling the truth, but like every other statement, there's no backup here. And it's obviously... It's there to emotionally, like, you know, connect with you. Well, what are you doing? Why have you got a what? Bring that here. Bring it here. 
No, you won't be able to grab it because you already find it awkward to put in your mouth anyway. One of the kids has left their water bottle on the side and he's decided to pick it up. Give us a second, guys. Have you got water? Have you got water? No, we don't. Give us a second, guys. We're just grabbing some water. You've got, yeah, I've got water. You know what this dog does, right? His water bowl's half full. His water bowl's half full, and I pour water in, and he'll drink it obviously while it's being poured because he likes it, and then he just leaves it the rest of the time. <laughs> I swear to God. Right. On TikTok, I present, you know, God. And he'll come and try and grab my bottles or something like that. He's got half a thing of water. But can't you get like little like water fountains and things? I think you might prefer something like that, but I don't know how they work. Hobby and thingy and everything, but I'm not. And uh, yeah, I'm Alex and Chester, they want to sit there and abdicate for mental health. Oh, Mitch, you've just been slagging them off. You can't like, you can't, <laughs> you can't be like undermining Princess Brat when he was saying in the recording that he's grateful for his community and he's had a fucking shit day and everything like that. And then you can't be like, oh, well, and they advocate for mental health, but you've just been saying his mental health, what he was saying was bullshit and he was manipulating. It's just ridiculous. When they know what I've gone through six months... How do they work, Miss Whiplash? Do you have to, you know, must have to plug them into the wall, right? And then do you fill like a water tank up? Pumps of losing Kelly, losing Rosie. They were there for me. Chester was on the phone to me for two and a half hours. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't try to, uh, touch a beer. Hours, yeah, and they know medically what's wrong with me. I don't reveal it on TikTok, I don't come on TikTok and it's, could this be classed as manipulation, Luke? I'm not saying you are manipulating, I think you're being genuine, just like everybody else. Because you see, when I first started on TikTok and I was calling people out, there was a few things like this which I would touch and be like, That's manipulation, boom, clear as day, manipulation, manipulation. But then I started to realize that. Not everything is as clear as that, as clear cut as that. There's an argument for it, but there's also an argument against it, which is why, obviously, I stick with what I know, factually. Say, I've got this wrong with me, I've got this wrong with me, but not one of them thought about me. Thank you guys for the hydrates. I, I, to be fair, I've missed a few of them. Not one of them. And I spoke to Chest, uh, sorry, Luke yesterday, and he wasn't in a good place. Uh, people were calling him a groomer. He's not in a good place now, he's in your box. Um, Right, the grooming thing, right? Now, I did see this clip. Right, now, we all know what a groomer is when it comes to a child predator. One second, I've got to fill me water up. I'm definitely not pissing. Okay, now I'm pissing. There we go, that was a little bit. Um, now, we all know what a groomer is when it comes to a child predator, right? Some of these, you know, sometimes I don't have to, I was going to say spend a long time, but sometimes it can be a short time, you know, communicating with somebody, manipulating somebody, making them feel like they are, you know, more important to that person than they are, when in reality they're manipulating them to gain something from that person. In the case of a child predator, you know, for sexual gratification or something. Now, other people also use grooming, like you've been financially groomed, as in, like Chester might say that he's been financially groomed because he's been given money and because he's in that power dynamic where he feels like he has to go along with Luke because he owes him so much money and they might consider that as grooming. Now, there are mul multitudes of reasons why you could describe something as a grooming behaviour, right? But as soon as somebody mentions grooming, everybody goes, oh, geez, he's, in, he's indicating I'm a child predator. No, not at all. You've got to listen to the context of what it's about. Do you know what I mean? Um, yes, you fill the ball up and plug into charge filter every two weeks. Huh. I might have to have a look at it. Um, we weren't allowed to drink. I thought we'll see it's about water now there. 
<laughs> I like that. Yeah, Merlin comes and like has a go at my cups or something. He's still got the water in, but he wants me to pour it. Um, On that live, a groomer. And chest. And that's what they want to do. It's like when I went in and I called Sobriety Jacks. You know when Sobriety Jack was shoving shit up his ass. And, and do it on the live stream and then saying, well, I'm going to do it again tomorrow and the rolling pin goes missing. And I said that his actions were predatory, right? Because he knew people had brought up the fact there could be kids watching and all that sort of stuff and he didn't give a shit. So I said, those actions are predatory. This one, and I've got the screen recording, was going, uh, well, he shouldn't be calling them a predator and did it and calling them a pedalo and all that. And I said, I didn't call him a fucking pedalo. I called him a predator. I said his actions were predatory. There's a difference. People don't understand what fucking words mean and then they run with them. Like, it just absolutely blows my mind. It's disgusting, it. Chester is fucking disgusting for allowing Not people... To... To Chester. He, said, he said you financially groomed him. He didn't say you bloody met him when he was 14. Calm down. Because I do get on with Chester too and I do 100% believe what he's gone through. I, I really do. I don't know whether Chester will like you after this. And it's awful, absolutely disgusting what he's gone through. And I hope he's okay. But I do. It's a shame because you kind of have similar heads. Though yours is a bit more stretched out. Just, do you know what I mean? Because I'm okay with Chester. Do you know what I mean? So please I don't. To, I, tried, I tried to reach. I'm okay with Chester. Yeah, okay. I out to Chester this morning to see if he was okay because I know what he does. He goes on a drunken rant, he says things online, then he goes off for a few days. It I know Chester. I know, Chester, but what's yeah. been done here after helping these two is fucking disgusting. How long's that driver been waiting outside for Luke now? The driver turned up at 14 minutes in. It's now 23 minutes in. Well, nearly 24 minutes in. You guys do the maths. I ain't fucking doing the maths. Isn't that a straight 10 minutes? Am I really being that? How dare you be... That, what? I know, I can't believe that... Look, the driver's here, because there was no fucking driver, that's why. Prince. Either that, he's just really fucking rude, and he doesn't give a shit. Brat. Not telling what he said about people. Not telling about what he said about his mods that don't work. But you're happy... <laughs> this was funny, because I just see it as like tit for tat, throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks. Oh, he also said his mods are on benefits, and what else, because they're lazy and they don't work. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I'm sure he did. I'm sure you've got loads of evidence of that, Luke, and I can't wait to see it. What the fuck are you talking about? You take their money, though, aren't you, Prince? Did, did Luke post the video proving that EQ was behind that account, like he claimed, by the way? Brat, you're happy to slag them off for being on benefits, but you're more than happy to direct them to Cowboys once a month battle. They're lazy, they're this, they're that, they don't work because they're on benefits, but happy to give you and Cowboy hundreds and hundreds of pounds a week. And when that mod, that was... What kind of benefits are they on? <laughs> Which I could afford hundreds of pounds. I mean, the story just isn't nothing. Go on, sorry, Ange. No, I was just going to ask you a question. No, carry on, then. I carry on. Okay. When that... How many questions has she asked? Is the sound okay? Are you wearing headphones? That's, like, honestly... That bloke came to, came to Alex, and Alex came and told me, out with his trauma and came to me and told me that bloke had done all his money on another one of his mods and he'd been gay baited right that remember we've learned that was when i saw them gifts when Where alex was allowing gone? that bloke to still gift him after saying he'd spent all of his money all of his money on another bloke and he worked a normal job and he had no money and i saw him gifting that was when i knew this is all for gifts this is all for views. This isn't my final thing. He stated... Well, what are you doing your platform for? Is it not for views and money? I don't get it. Like, I'm a content creator, obviously, guys. Well, I would call myself... Well, yeah, I do. I make content on fucking YouTube and shit like that. And I want people to see my content. I'm not asked about the money. Anything that comes with it is nice. But I want people to see my stuff. Merlin, what are you doing? We're not wrestling. Jesus. Give us a second, guys. I'm just going to go grab something for Merlin. Here comes the fat freak. He's on the loose. Loves his rabbits. Where's the truth like a noose? Surfing the web, exposing.
Here comes the fact freak, he's on the loose, loves his rabbits, where's the truth like a noose? Surfing the web, exposing all things, with his bright ideas, he's got a passion for animals, big and small, the fact that he loves rabbits, he screams it. Hell, no. He jumped up with his bone in his mouth and then lost it down the fucking side of the bloody desk. What a dickhead. Right, okay. To me. I don't give a fuck who believes me and who don't believe me. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff, because I don't think a lot of people are. He stated to me, when I don't talk about Evil Queen and I don't talk about Zack, I ain't got no numbers. I was the one that asked him to stop speaking about them because it was looking weird. Me. Stop speaking about Zach. He even said on a call, I do think things get brushed up. I said, you ever been manipulated or told what to play? And he said, no, but I do think a lot gets brushed over. And I said, we don't talk about Zach. He's already said this. Zach, an evil queen. Because You're making the driver weird. We want an easy life. And there's your truth. I had two friends that turned on me for clout. Two people. Shall we forward, because I'm only going to be on for another 20 minutes, shall we forward and see the whole Chester bit? See a little bit of Chester first. <clears throat> people that I've helped out. Two people I've been there for. I had his mum messaging me on Snapchat, telling me three weeks ago, thank you for being so amazing for Cowboy and Alex and being there for them, because I'm fucking sick of the ringing me up all hours of the fucking night. Had an argument. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm done. All right, bye. Shouldn't be talking about, if, if he's trying to elude that that's like a self-harm thing, man, he shouldn't be doing that. I'm not a fan of that at all. Second, because you're not a billionaire, millionaire, whatever he is. Oh, so put some I thought what EQ said there was quite fitting as well about the gifting. Um, obviously, when they gift each other to get up the rankings, they gift themselves on their actual accounts. Even though it is like obviously manipulation and all that sort of shit, but they are not like pretending to be somebody gifting them, if you know what I mean. Um, well, this is the thing, and this is what I want to talk about, but I don't want to, to air it too much. But yeah, let's see the difference between when Chester comes in to speak. First of all, the boxes are open between me and Luke, so it's private, and I'm not sure because the observer hides the comment section. But did the comments get turned on as well? Um, I, yeah. I don't actually know. I could, I, I could think. That, well, that did you not give me what I've sent Luke? That means it's private. Right. Okay. Well, I don't know if it was a voice note or what it was. Uh, Chester made a mistake. Here. Chester thought it was a voice note he had sent Luke, but it wasn't. Like as we discussed. So they did leave the comment. Oh, for God's sake. Is that? I, I don't tend to look, obviously when I'm streaming it's a bit different, but if I'm in the box or something, I don't tend to look at the comments that much. Between me and Luke. Right, well it's only got Luke's voice on there. So it's a voice, yeah, so it's a voice note then. Yeah, from him, yeah. not from you, from him. Yeah. That doesn't prove anything. Yeah, so it's not a screen recording. In the nicest way possible, and I don't know why I'm being nice to a racist, but Chester's about as sharp as this table. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I think the point is that he's trying to make is that that doesn't prove anything. It's just a voice note from Thingy. But he's not exactly articulating himself very well. No, but it's from him. It's a voice note from him. Right. And... Also, I want to clear up the fact of when he's um, on about... Uh... Yeah, not you. Not you to him. Right. 
Also about the fact with the EQ thing about the peg glow, I think he also forgets that he asked me to make an account on Comet Gaff, yeah. which I didn't. On to Comment pl Gaff, um, past it or Comment Gaff are the worst guys. They are terrible. Everyone hates Comment Gaff, right? Because the problem with Comment Gaff is that people can actually voice their opinions on a message board and say how they feel about people and choose to remain anonymous if they want. It's fucking dangerous. Oh, fuck off. Honestly, fuck off. Do you know what I mean? You're an online creator. I don't... Never mind. The, you're an online creator. I don't know why you have such an issue with people voicing their opinions on you. If you do, don't be a fucking creator. Simple. But no, seriously, comment, calf, let me know what my next exposure is and what I'm doing it on. All over there about EQ. Can I just ask you a question? It's just a message board. It's just a web. It's just a web page where you know you can talk about various different creators and stuff like that. Because this is what pe everyone wants to know: Did you go live and and discuss your trauma? I went live a couple of years ago. People knew, um, didn't know the full details of what was going. They didn't know the full details, but Angie and Luke just fucking said it so basically what he's saying is we did talk about it but not in as much detail as they've just talked about it in this bloody life we're not behind closed doors angie but they knew that we'll, there were some problems everyone is saying you did you did so um i i wasn't there i, I don't know so uh, people have said that you you did go into details you know at the pub on that and also, um, so what? Also, so, so what? He said he didn't. So it was okay for him to say to Prince Brett as well about me tying bricks to my feet. Did Which... he... I don't understand that. Is that is? Oh God, I don't want. To... I don't want to come off like an ass. Like. I'm not even gonna ask. I don't even understand. Like, I don't. N never mind. I, I don't get that. I don't know what that I'll is. say that on your on. I don't know if that's to do with obviously trigger warnings are above me, guys. But is that to do with a, an attempt on his own life or something? Cause... On your live, no. I don't know what was said on your live, Chester. I don't know about. I that. was. I've never done that at all, and I had screenshots of being proof of that being said. <laughs> Oh, and th oh, right, like drowned himself. I never thought about that. Like, sometimes things don't quite register. Jesus Christ. Right, okay. Well, I don't know. I think it's like nothing's off limits to these fuckers, is it, to talk about. As long as you don't like the person, say anything you want. I mean, if someone wants to message me, because I know that a couple of my mods were on that. <laughs> yeah, the magic messages, they all come in. Alive. I've got a message here to tell tell me that I am the best and that I'm right about everything. Can't tell you who it is, but trust me. Oh, I've had another message that said exactly the same thing. Wait a minute. One of them says that Angie needs to clean her teeth. I don't know what was said on that live. All I know is that you did out there on your live, um, well, a few years ago. You don't know that? You weren't fucking watching it anyway. You only go, even if these messages were true, which they fucking definitely weren't, then you don't know that anyway because you weren't watching them. You haven't seen screen recordings of it. You haven't had anything. Because let's face it, Chester isn't a big enough streamer. Definitely wasn't before now, like back whenever, for anybody to be screen recording and be like, oh, this is just some random person talking about his essay. Let's screen record it. Like, it just doesn't happen like that. Like, it doesn't. And did, I don't, is there any proof? Huh? Is there any proof apart from that voice note you've had of what Luke's talking? Um, what I've had. See, he's not he's not ver verbalising. Jesus Christ, I'm not fucking verbalising exactly what you should say or what he's trying to say. Jesus Christ, <laughs> neither am I. He's not vocalising right. That's it. He's not vocalising right. What he's trying to say, and what he's trying to say, obviously is that he, she hasn't seen any evidence of it, she hasn't seen a screen recording of that live, and it's only had a voice note of Luke saying, I know, Jen, I'm done. Don't forget, guys, if you want to get rid of the ads and you have Amazon Prime, 
just log in to Prime Gaming on your web browser, come back, hit subscribe, for, f and then you can subscribe for free using that. If you get rid of those ads, I'm sure someone will whack the link in the chat. My mods are confirmed that it was outed. Articulating, yeah, that's the one. I did use it earlier on, that word, and I felt really proud of myself, uh, but then immediately forgot it. A couple of years ago. And do I believe them? Yes. Okay, that's up to you. Ask him what he got up to in Liverpool. That's not the point. I do believe what you've gone through, you know, and I hope you're okay. You know what I mean? But, okay. But you don't believe anything else. Fuck me. Um, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah. But, but do you not think Alex, you know, Prince uh, Brett has, has caused all this, you, you know? That's who you want to throw under the bus. You don't want to really go Chester because Chester's had his essay discussed. So if you all went at him, you'd be made out to be monsters. So out of the two of them, Brat is the one to go for. Basically, Brat's the one to go for. And where you can look like you're trying to do the best thing by being like, look, Chester, all this anguish you're going through right now it's not it's not our fault it's not luke's fault it's brat's fault it's just so obvious how this was going to play out i fucking said it um yesterday on my life the reason the why he kind of did what he did was because luke didn't support me and you know on his fyp but that's why you're doing this and all of a sudden he was outing me did a hate live on me and then oh, he fucking hate live Angie, you have an opinion on every cunt. And then when anybody else speaks about you, it's a hit live. Piss off. Fucking hell. You look like an extra for Mars Attacks. Went running to you saying, oh, Luke said this, Luke said this. Yeah, he's not your friend. He didn't do that because he was I, trying to be nice. Yeah. He's been I've nice. Never, he I've never classed, malice. Yeah, yeah. I've never classed it, um, Prince Brat as a friend and never have done. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so what are you going to say about that, Andrew? They're not trying to make friends. So, uh, yeah, I haven't said that. that Luke hasn't been there. Do you think Andrew looks comfortable with this? I don't know. It's very controlling. Hey, Luke. Very controlling. No, no, he's fucking dust man. Like, who do you think we're talking about, Angie? Jesus Christ. I, I cannot, like. <laughs> I really can't. Just fucking honestly. Um, do you know what I mean? People not don't listen to what... Well, if I went through all my screw, um, recording voice notes and stuff like that, of him threatening this, threatening that, screaming, tell me what to do on live. Of course I do. Do you know what I mean? Asking me to do some of his dirty work on live. Oh, this cunt. This one here. Oh, yeah. I've seen you mouth enough. I've seen you mouth enough other places. 100%. Oh. Chester, can I ask you a question? Yesterday yeah. on... One, one, one sec. Is it okay for me to put people in the boxes? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hello, darling. I'm going to move this chat window a little bit. I like to have it so that when, when we re-upload onto YouTube, people don't think I'm just nuts talking to myself. Chester, I'm really sorry that you went through what you went through, but... That's not MT, is it? That's somebody else, isn't it? However, yesterday on here, you did say that you only told two people about what happened to you. Now you're backtracking and saying that, well, you did speak about it, but not everybody knew the full detail. No. <laughs> What are you doing? They knew that um, I was having arguments with my friends and stuff like that, but they didn't know the full details. Only Luke and one other mod knew. Okay, thank you. Chester, I can remember you. I can remember you. I can. Is that a song? It's just her little husky voice as well. I can remember you. This sounds like it's going to be somebody who goes. And you were such a lovely lad. And then you've got in with this bloody Prince Brat fella. And, you know, he's just caused all the trouble. I mean, I can... Like, is this... Is this it? On a live, telling people... Just going back a couple of years ago, telling people what you went through. 
No, I feel so sorry for you because you have been through a lot, right? But I think, you know. Nice work, Brigetti. But this person that I don't know, I just, I just feel. No, but I'm glad you're fucking here. If you don't know what you want to talk about, like, thank fuck. Like, this is the average Angie supporter. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, she's probably a lovely lady. But, like, why are you in here? Your dog looks adorable. But I don't know what your point is. I am used to that. And I don't know. Well, fucking hell, Pet. You had plenty of time. Get a notepad and a pencil for next time. Write a few bullet points down or something to keep yourself on track. Very sorry for each Chester. Because it's been brought up, you know, and... Sounds like the dog's barking in the background, though, constantly. It shouldn't have been. Yeah. I think Alex done that in spite, Chester. I think he done that to aggravate you. I told you. She was going to say how it was Princess Brat's fault. I'd upset you. You were a lovely lad, and now you're in with this Princess Brat. Princess? I didn't mean that. <laughs> because you did trust Luke. And, yeah, he did speak about it. And he shouldn't have, but... Alex just... Yeah, yeah, Brat's the problem, yeah, keep to that. Really stirred the pot. Yeah, yeah, it's Alex's problem. He's stirring. How could he stir the pot, you silly bitch? If Luke hadn't told him, he wouldn't have any ingredients to put in the fucking pot, would he? I honestly, really fucking... These people are thick as fuck. Honestly. The pot. Yeah. And I hope you, Chester, and Luke can talk... You know, with each other. I hope you can work out how to as well at some point. You know, and get things out, out in the open for yourselves. Because Chester, you're a lovely man. I mean, he's a racist. Like, <laughs> let's not forget that. Let's not forget that. You know, and you didn't deserve that to be brought up again. Sort your dog out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, Chester, I went through that myself as a child. And, you know, it's grand every day to get through. The dog's gone, shut the fuck up. Can you please walk me? You discovered Angie 76 days ago and I've not been walked since. Day by day, but for someone to stir the pot and bring something up again, it hurts really deep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. So just fucking listening to you. I'm sorry, like... Because yeah. I don't discuss <laughs> my life. I have a fucking... I've got such a low tolerance for fucking people who just... I only have two friends that I ever discussed things with. And if I thought that some one of my friends went away and spoke about it to another person, it would upset me. But Chester, know that we have you. <laughs> Sorry, somebody in the box was like, I'm fucking out. <laughs> so, so in the box was like, I can't listen to this shit. Like, I, I, don't, I, I ain't got the time for this. Go back, you know, and we, we are upset for you. Is this Brett's nan? Okay, and don't think that you're on your own because we do. Oh, Corey, fuck off. I was thinking about doing a deep dive on Corey, I'm not going to lie. Because... Obviously, he's gone about Facebook, Facebook, this, and I had a little brief look at him and different things like that. Uh, I didn't know. I've not been very inspired recently to do stuff like that, but thinking about it. Ooh. Beware, Corey. No, he won't give a fuck. He'll do what most people do. He wants clout off me. He wants clout. <laughs> yes, I do. I'll have all the venereal diseases because of me accounts last on average about four months. Like, what the fuck? We are crazy about you. The I thing is, Chester, listen, what, what you went through, yeah, is awful. Tag me in all the Corey clips on TikTok. And everyone, we all believe what yeah. you went through, okay? All right? And if you ever need someone to talk to, you know, I'm... Oh, please don't talk to Angie. God. Yeah, I will send you my number. Um, but saying that, you know, it wasn't, you know, you didn't send it... Say... Devon, read the room. <laughs> I, like, I like Devon, but what the fuck are you doing, Devon? Just... To just two people, you did say it on a platform, and so you, you can't did blame. You were drunk. You yeah. were drunk. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I am going to leave this live with something. Give me a second. So Angie's making a point here. Yes, she is saying that you did say it on a platform, so it can be discussed. Interesting. One second. 
Let me just go back. Did I go back there? You can't blame him. And so you can't you blame him you were to just two people. You did say it on a platform. And so you, you can't blame him. You, you did say it on a platform, so you can't blame Luke for discussing it on a public platform. Hmm. Let's 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 just let's just have a little little look. Little look. Uh where is it? Have I not read it? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Where the hell is it? We'll go with this one instead, eh? Penis. And that's my boy. That is my boy. This ain't real. Yo, you like is this actually happening right now? This can't be real. One second. Oh yeah, he enjoys it, man. He enjoys it, honestly. He enjoys uh, it. Uh, Alright, listen, um Why how is it an animal abuse if he enjoys it though, Tyron? If he enjoys well, it, how is it animal abuse? So we can all talk about that. We can all talk about that. I don't know where the other bit is. I've missed it here. I've missed it here. But yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. Obviously, we know Andrew's talked about a dad, broccoli, sleeping with a dad, sleeping with a brother, sleeping with a dog, sleeping with a brother's sister's roommate's fucking hamster. And don't, you know, you can't blame me or anybody else for discussing it because you did put it online, which I think, oh, actually, with that, with that I've got the perfect, perfect way to summarise that. One second. The perfect way would be the last time I saw, spoke to Angie in a live, wouldn't it? Uh, where is it? Is this it? Pen pal, does out if somebody brings the, those comments and what those people are saying is fucking wrong, and I don't care. I'll just, I'll just leave you guys with this, right? Peace. Make sure to follow. I'm going to leave this to play out. So remember, Angie. Angie did just say that this is okay, but she seemed to have a problem with it the other day. Whether it's an account, and you can go through my goddamn YouTube, my shorts, my Instagram, and see that it doesn't matter about the follow count of the particular creator who I am calling out. If somebody brings me something, I will speak out against it. And it's simple as that. What the fuck do you want? Oh, go away, fake for you're wrong. Why? You're lost, you're Make wrong. me go away. Make me go How away. You. I will stand Which here. Was? Don't you ever judge over yourself. my dead father you are died. Nobody. Who do you what? think you Absolutely are? Absolutely nobody. What? You are a no robin. One. Go and expose no one. Robin. You That's were what? drunk the other night you're, you're talking to Devon about how it had well, nothing to do with you're the broccoli. Okay, Nothing to do with the broccoli, was it, Andy? With a T-shirt with a broccoli of how my father died. I clearly right. stated on my... Would you, you be said quiet, let me speak. less than 48 hours ago it had nothing to do with the broccoli. Would you be quiet? Did Why are you even have judging how cancer, my father Andy? died? What did Why he have? Why are you even judging how you my father died? You say it lie. When people say it on an app, people can talk about it. Why would you even question about my father? Like you said it. You stars. said it. Are your parents you alive? Said it. Sit here questioning. You said it. You said it. You said it. You said it. I said it. You said it. I don't care what you I said. said it's my it. father that you're discussing right now. It's my father that you're discussing. How dare you start your That's life? What? You Talk said it. I can turn my microphone off all you You said it. I am talking about what you said. You said it. Go you away, said it. Week. You Go said it. Pork pies. Let, let us speak and I'll what let you I speak, was, Patrick. What I said was, right, you now that it. I have to even done justify as to how my goddamn father died, I so don't have to be do? doing this, right? What I said, yeah, how dare you tell me, you oh, he didn't die the way he did. She's you lying. Said. I'm talking about I am my repeating father. what you Set said. Up, right? I'm repeating what you said. You I'm repeating him. what you said. Can you mute him? What I said was, not that I have to ex bloody explain about how my father died, but what I said was, is that they, they, he probably didn't die on broccoli. I don't know, because it was inconclusive. The pathology report, he, they reckon he not died. What you said, there was an I, Shut up and let me not listen to Right? Okay, he had a broccoli. Why am I even talking about how my father died? This is disgusting. While well, you're sitting with a not broccoli. What you said. That, that, 
Oh, you know what? Alex, said. fuck you, Alex. Okay, you. No, you said. Bye. Okay, you fucking caused the stress. Fuck you, Alex.